In this eight minute video, I'll be doing a quick overview of how to effectively use Dragon Naturally Speaking with any of your Gmail accounts. As a bonus, I'll show you how to train your Dragon, no pun intended, a little later on. Now before we get started, I'll be toggling the microphone on and off with a keyboard. Dragon does support keyboard input with your voice by using commands such as wake up or go to sleep. However, using the keyboard for this demonstration will keep you from getting annoyed. So here I am in my Gmail interface and I'm just going to use Dragon to compose an email. So let's click Compose Mail. Let's turn on our mic. Life in the Grid. Tab. Different quotes on success for your next article. Cap that. Tab. In the next article you're writing about the struggles of entrepreneurship, comma, don't forget to add some quotes to the article, period. Here are a few. New paragraph. Anything the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Napoleon Hill. New paragraph. Always treat your employees exactly as you want them to treat your best customers. Stephen Covey. New paragraph. I failed over and over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeeded. Michael Jordan. New paragraph. The fuel to entrepreneurship is drive, comma, determination, and being teachable, period. The engine is automation, comma, streamlining, and outsourcing, period. The driver is honest, comma, courageous, and full of passion, Corey Lamley, new paragraph, email signature. So once we're actually done with our email, we can come in here and just do a quick check, make sure everything reads right. If you automation, streamlining, and of course I'm just sending this to myself so it doesn't have to be perfect. So in this case I'm just going to go ahead and send it off. And that just demonstrates how quickly and easily you can put together an email. And obviously you see sometimes you're going to have to go back and do an edit or tweak or two, but that's the same as if you are typing. So that's it for sending an email. So in this next section, I'll be using a different email account because I want to trigger Dragon's learning capabilities. And the best way to do this is with a real life example of a user account, which isn't something that is going to be in Dragon's dictionary by default. In fact, this is a common scenario that you will eventually encounter when you first start using Dragon. So this demo is a great example of helping Dragon to become exactly what you want it to be. So here's the bonus I mentioned earlier on about how to train your dragon. Let's go ahead and run through this scenario. Corey.Lamley. Correct that. Spell that. Train. Go. Corey.Lamley. Done. So as you see, I just trained Dragon how to say my name. And this is a one-time thing. So as you continue to do this, Dragon is going to get smarter and smarter. And that's the little bonus piece that I was talking about. So before I go into another demo, I'd like to point out that while Dragon does have the capability of supporting hands-free input, in the real world you'll be using your keyboard, mouse, and Dragon as one cohesive unit. Dragon really just becomes another extension of your computer's input mechanisms. Just like you learn how to type and use your mouse, Dragon will become your third input. It is this additional input that really helps you automate, streamline, and improve your overall productivity of your online experience. So here I am in my main inbox, and is what I want to do is show you how I work with sequential emails using Dragon. Now I have three fake emails here, and I'm just going to demonstrate how I would respond to each one of them with Dragon. So this first email is from Mark, and he's asking a question about one of the products we have. Mark, comma, new paragraph. The link for this product can be found at www.lifeinthegrid.com slash map it, period. If you have further questions, just email me at the link below, period. New paragraph, email signature. Uh, 
Okay, so the next email here is from Amy, and she's asking a question about where to get some coupons for the Dragon software. Amy, comma, new paragraph. I keep a list of coupons for Dragon software at www.lifeinthegrid.com slash dragon, period. Email signature. Now the last email here is from Homer and he's asking how he can get rich quick. So um, let's go ahead and reply to Homer here. Dear Homer, new paragraph, since you want something for nothing, I'll let the truth be told, period. If you don't have the desire and drive to make this happen, comma, then there is no way you're going to create any kind of wealth, period. My suggestion is that you keep your 9-to-5 job if you have one and just learn to enjoy the weekends, period. If you have a change of heart and want to put some time and effort into this, comma, then you may have a shot at getting some real success, period. New paragraph. New paragraph. Sincerely. New paragraph. Lifeinthegrid.com. So, as you can see, there are some tweaks that you're going to have to make, and that's just going to be the same thing as when you're using any type of typing. But as you can see, it, it cranks through what I want to say very quickly, and I can go ahead and send the email off. So that's it. Um, that was just working through a quick email. As you can see, all the emails were sent back off to the corresponding person, which was myself, because this is a demo. So that's it for now. So this has been a basic overview of using Gmail and Dragon together. If you have good ideas or questions, please engage our community at lifeinthegrid.com. If you'd like to watch more videos like this, click the YouTube subscribe link, and thanks for watching this video.